My name is Feral Golden. I was born in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Some people believe that it's danger in making change or there's some kind of inherent danger when you approach the establishment and say what you're doing is wrong and things change. I don't believe that. I believe that's a normal process. And I believe it's the right of every citizen to do that. I believe in a democracy and I believe that every citizen should participate in that democracy. And we always should speak of the government in this as a first person because it's us. In a democracy, we are the government. Constitution starts off with we the people. And to my uh, experience in life that not enough people either understand or believe that, but it's the people who makes the decision and government works for the people. And it's your responsibility to make sure it's working properly. When you don't look at things holistically, you end up with nothing, it's chaos. When you're talking about no equity, I give you what I feel is a prime example. Most of the literature I've been reading lately talks about these fence line communities lose anywhere from two to five years of their life because of the conditions imposed on them by the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. That's just about factual. The fact is that you do lose some of your life. That is definitely a danger. But getting people motivated to understand that and say no, but hell no, is a different set of circumstances. The issues are very clear to me that either you say something about it or you are participating in your own suicide in the environmental community. Too much of the conversation is based on reducing pollution and not on reducing the effects. Let's focus on the effects of pollution. Let's remove them. They should not be reduced, they should be removed. And that's what the focus should be and where everyone I think in this country should be moving toward. Since the Industrial Re Revolution 150 years ago, when mass uh, pollution started, it was about obtaining wealth. And that's the only purpose was to obtain wealth. And we don't care about anything else. And then people started to say, no, nah, wait a minute. You're polluting, you're doing this and you're doing this, but you're really killing people. No, at the end of the day, you're talking about murder. Anytime you're taking somebody's life away from them, unwillingly, that's a murder. It is not justified. So we have to focus on what I feel are the real things. To me, the substance of this is, if you don't do anything now, you're gonna to have to do more later, and it's gonna be more difficult. If you don't know where you've been, how can you go any place? If you were to take a trip right now and leave Northern California, going to New York City, if you didn't know you were in Northern California, I don't know how you would find out you need to go east. You know, you have to know where you are to go someplace. And if our objective is clean air, then we know it's dirty and we should be doing things in a different way. The industry comes in and says, Oh, I can't do that. We need time. We need time. And it's kicked down the road and kicked down the road, but no one will equate a value to that time in human life and suffering. Okay, you need time. This is what the suffering you cause and why we will wait. That's not part of the decision-making process. It's not even properly evaluated, but yet it's happening. And you see, and you see report after report comes up. You know, but nobody wants to tie things together because they're afraid for the picture they're, they're going to see. If there is no report card, there is no accountability. The ports of Long Beach and uh, Los Angeles both did a resolution to exempt near zero trucks, in other words, natural gas trucks, which don't care how long they're in service, they're still going to produce NOx, and NOx is a killer. That it would help the community in the short term. I'm not quite convinced of that.
I know it won't hurt help in the long term because you're still producing NOx. And therefore, they shouldn't be included. Zero must mean zero, not near zero. We've seen major politicians stand up and say, we're going to do something for fence line communities. When? We have to be at the table. We have to be considered and considered at a high level. This thing is being built on our backs and our blood. And no one is saying, even saying, thank you. You died a nice life. Thanks for the contribution. That's what's wrong with this. But that connection that they want to say they have is at best tissue paper. And you know what tissue paper is used for. It is ridiculous for them to proceed in 2021 with the same attitude they had in 1851. It makes no sense. We have changed. And we have been trying in this country to do things and industry always say, well, the time is not now. That's the same argument that was used for integration. The time is not now. I would challenge anyone, everyone who has not read Martin Luther King's letter from the Birmingham jail. When the clergy approached him and said, his time is not now. If the time is not now, then tell me when. People are dying now. Just keep letting them die. Keep letting them making the maximum sacrifice, or as in the military, they say the ultimate sacrifice, because that's what you're doing. These people are making the ultimate sacrifice, and it's not being recognized. And that's what's wrong. And it's for the people, residents of the area, those that are affected greatest, to holler the loudest. And that's where we should be heading to force an accounting of what you have done to us. When something is recognized, it's supposed to be brought about, a change is supposed to happen. But there is no human feeling in our society any longer. It's gone someplace. You know, maybe it took their trip and didn't know where it was. Every citizen counts, every citizen has the same equity. It, there is no division, it's no, because of this, this term, you can bring in any the divisive things you want to into the argument, but every citizen has the same value and should have the same rights.